live. We're back with Coach Wendy. Great to have you with us. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Good to see you, Robbie. It's great to see you. I was, I was commenting before the, the intro started. Your kitchen is so beautifully bright and great light. It's just, it's just, like, it's just full of energy and life, Wendy. Oh, thank you. Well, yeah. I think it probably is because it gets used very well. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Okay, now, in the chat box, everybody, let us know where are you coming from and what type of diabetes are you living with? That's what I would love for you to write in the chat box. I am coming to you from Austin, Texas. I've been living with type 1 diabetes since January 26th of 2000. So that is now 23 years. Wendy, how about you? Oh, gosh. Well, I'm coming from Southwest Michigan, and I've had diabetes since 1996, April it was, I think it was April 18th is my anniversary. So I'm going to be coming up on 27 years with wow. type 1 diabetes. Incredible. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And um, maybe before we get into the recipe, which is we have a very, very exciting, fun recipe for you today. Um, and I'm going to read some of these comments that came in. So Marla, Iowa, type 2. Welcome, Marla. Glad to have you with us. We have Cindy, Palm Springs, type 2. Great to have you with us. Excellent. Steve, High Springs, Florida. Let us know what type of diabetes or maybe a health goal. Nancy from Switzerland, type Yay. one. Welcome. <laughs> All right. We have pre-diabetes from British Columbia. Fernie, excellent. Columbus, Ohio, uh, 1.5, A1C, 6.0. I like that. Uh, let's see. Mark. All right. Excellent. T1D. Uh, Joella. Florida, type two. Welcome. Wonderful. Another Michiganer. Husband, cool. type two. Husband has type well, two. Michiganders, Robbie. Uh, Michiganders. Sorry, sorry. Uh, thank you for correcting me. Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, type blank since 2019. Charles, you got to add that number in there. We're not sure yet. Kimberly, pre-diabetes. Welcome. Okay, guys, I'm glad to have you with us. So, Wendy, I, I'd like you to just... Tell everybody a little bit about yourself, your story, how you got into coaching, why you're passionate about that. I just love people to just get to know you a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, I was 21 years old when I built, developed type 1. And when I was, in the, I was in the hospital for a week, I was in the ICU for three days because um, I had no idea what was going on. I did have DKA, which is diabetic ketoacidosis. And in my hospital room, once I finally got to the normal area, the nurse uh, diabetes educator that came in to see me said, learn more about diabetes than your doctor knows. Mm -hmm. And I really took that to heart. I was like, oh, that, <laughs> that piece of information was very important. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I had all of a sudden, you know, I had to inject myself. I had mm -hmm. to test myself with the meter. And, you know, in my past life, I, was, I had been working on becoming an opera singer. And um, I developed hypoglycemia. <laughs> mm -hmm. So then I had to eat at a stringent eating um, and it, it just wasn't working out. It wasn't working out for me. So pardon me, but my dogs are- No, it's okay. Them. It's all good. We love animals here. <laughs> so, so then I was like, okay, what, what do I do? And I decided I'm going to learn about nutrition because I don't really know a whole lot about nutrition. So I decided I'm going to learn about nutrition. I'll become a dietitian. You know, that, that will get me somewhere. And then I volunteered for a diabetes outpatient clinic during that time. And I really, really felt passionate about, gosh, I want to be able to help other people do well with this, with this chronic illness. Like how else can I help people? So, so I decided to become a diabetes uh, dietitian. So I um, took the exam. I went through all of that. I became a uh, a diabetes educator, um, mm -hmm. and with the CDCES, that's what that is. Back in the name. And um, so for 13 years, I worked to really help people understand, like, how do they eat? How do they balance things out? But I would notice over time, you know, the majority of people I saw were people with type 2 diabetes. And I would notice, like, you know, year one, maybe they weren't on any medication. Year two, maybe they were on two medications. Year five, maybe they were on three or four medications. Like it wasn't, they weren't improving. And so I always looked at myself as my own experiment. 
And I also talked to my local university. So at one point, Robbie, I found one of your videos because I was looking for a video of somebody with type one diabetes, what a day in the life looks like. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I, I watched your video. It's when you had longer hair and your hair was not like my life. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, how in the world is he eating so much fruit? Is that even possible? Like this doesn't seem right. And so I thought, well, I'm going to research and look at more of your videos. And I'd also seen, um, I'd also seen Cyrus when he, and he had his own uh, mango man mm -hmm, kind of thing. Mm -hmm, that he was doing. Mm -hmm. So I started like really researching, like, what are you doing? And I thought, well, I'm going to see if I can replicate it in my own body. <clears throat> and so I started doing that and found uh, profound differences <laughs> in the amount of insulin I needed. Mm -hmm. And um, really made a difference in how I felt in my body. I felt healthy again. I felt energetic. I didn't have any pain anymore. I could sleep throughout the night without any pain. And I thought, wow, this is really something. This really works. And so then I started working with some of my outpatient people, some of the people with type 2, and talking to them about like how to eat this way. And several of them reversed their type 2 diabetes while I saw them, which was sad because then I could no longer... <laughs> <laughs> support them. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? I want to, you know, I want to work with, with Robbie and Cyrus. I want to be with the source because I know that this works and I want to be supported and, and be able to give people the truth, this mm -hmm. true information. It is research based mm -hmm. that, you know, you can thrive with type one diabetes and you can reverse prediabetes and you can reverse type two. Yeah. And that's, that's how I, that's how I yeah, got yeah. here. Wendy, Wendy your, your story is so powerful. And there's a few things I want to highlight here. You yeah. certainly did go and do what you were told is you know more than most endocrinologists when it comes to nutrition and diabetes care. There's no question. Um, and not just because of your own experience and, and your credentials, but also, you know, you're a certified diabetes care and education specialist, which technically <clears throat> even like that credential itself kind of sets you apart from most doctors who didn't even go down that path. Right. So that's amazing. And our, our, so many of our, our coaches have done the same thing. I feel like in our team and the collective knowledge that we have as a, as a coaching team now is like far beyond, you know, like no more than your doctor. Right. So I feel like that's <clears throat> really cool. And the other thing is you, you live with type one diabetes, like you understand the nuances. That's an important thing that you bring to, you know, whether your type one small group coaching programs or your privates who have are insulin dependent, whether it's type two insulin dependent, type 1.5, um, you know, type one, you, and you just like, your experience is super valuable, but also you live the lifestyle and that's what our entire coaching team does. Like, you, it's not like you're going to get on a call with a coach and they're going to be drinking a Coke and then telling you like, oh, Cokes aren't really good for your blood glucose control, which I and that's funny, you know, like I know you're laughing. I'm laughing. But the truth is that's happening in the medical world. Oh, my God. How gosh. many people yes. are showing up to a doctor's appointment? I mean, again, I'm not going to name anybody's name, but my yeah. endocrinologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota growing up, this guy was obese. <laughs> I mean, this guy was obese. Like that's just a whole nother world. And that's happening all the time in the medical world. These are people are not healthy. They're not vibrant. They're not loving life. They're not using their kitchen the way you're using your kitchen. Yeah. And I, I love how best our producer is showing on the screen, our coaching team. Like yeah, yeah. I am so proud of this team and, and what you guys do on a daily basis. And the testimonials that we see coming in every day on our like Slack channel, it's just like the best thing ever. Yeah. So I just want to acknowledge you for that and recognize that and, and, uh, and say thank you. And um, uh, I also, before we get started with the recipe, I, I do want everybody to know that um, today we're going to, Wendy's going to make an amazing recipe. We'll, we'll put the recipe on the screen. You can take a screenshot. You can take a picture with your phone, like save it and make it. We love that. But we also have an opportunity for you to get a recipe guide with dinner recipe meals, okay? Like, the, these are incredible. So you have to write the comment, send me the guide, okay? So if you make a comment that says, send me the guide, and you're on Facebook, okay? We will then message you, okay? We're going to send you a direct message so you can get the guide. It's a dinner recipe challenge, okay? So that's what send me the guide <clears throat> is going to get you. 
if you are on YouTube, uh, you have to send us an email. That's really, that's, that's the only way uh, we can help in this situation. All right. So uh, send an email. It'd be team at masteringdiabetes.org. <clears throat> but I, I just want to, um, <clears throat> I want to take a moment to actually um, highlight something here. Um, oh, let's see. Hold on a second. Um, you know, it's okay. I'll highlight it later. So anyways, put it in the chat box. Um, you say, send me the guide. We'll, we'll send it to you. But in addition to that, I, I, uh, Wendy, this recipe you're making today, could it be eaten for dinner? Yeah, you could eat it for dinner. You'd want to eat something additional with it. You okay, want to perfect. Add beans okay. to it, but yes. Right. So here's what I want to hear in the comments. Uh, right. S send me the guide if you want the guide, but also I just want to like understand something. Do you guys struggle with dinner meals? Like, is that true? Like you got your breakfast, you got that on point. Like that's pretty consistent. You, you, lunches are pretty good, but then you come home from work and it's just like dinner is a challenge. If that's true, just write the letter S in the chat box. Okay. I just want to see how many people that's true for. Um, and then also, again, if you want the guide, you have to write, send me the guide. All right. So I'll monitor the comments. Wendy, what are you going to make for us today? Oh my gosh. I, well, I'm wearing my green because it is St. Patty's week, right? Yes. <laughs> On Friday. So it's, and I am actually half Irish. I'm married to an Irish man. Uh, <laughs> so, so I've got that, uh, but I'm going to make a Szechuan salad. Look how beautiful this is, Robbie. So vibrant. This is so vibrant. all the, the vegetables that are going to go in the Szechuan salad. And then I'm going to make a dressing. And then I'm also going to put some um, red onion and some millet in there. So, so let's get started. I'm going to move my camera so you can see let's what it. it is I'm doing here. I'm just going right. to. Okay. So I'm, I saw a lot of S's come in the chat box. I also, I want you to write um, uh, yes millet or no millet. Like I want you, who, who's had millet before, right? I think. <laughs> <laughs> millet is an incredible grain, which I'll have you to tell, say more about, Wendy. But I feel like enough people don't have enough millet in their life. They're not eating it enough. So I'm super glad you're bringing this to us today. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to cut my cabbage enough so that it will fit in my shredder. So I have a shredding blade in here and my gravel. So, okay. This is what, so Sheila says no. Uh, Joella says no. Tina says no. Steve <laughs> says yes. Paula says no, I haven't had. Patrice says no. More people said no than yes. So you guys, like, this is a great recipe for you to try. Right. All right. Let's okay, see. Okay, boom. Uh, can I start it? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Nope. <laughs> it's good to be here. <laughs> yeah, all good. Uh, so Rebecca has uh, had millet and chemo. That's great. Uh, Anisha says she loves millet. Margarita says no. Okay, good. Well, again, this is why this recipe is going to be so important. Um, and Wendy, when you get a chance, maybe you can tell us uh, what you like about millet. I like it. Um, I mean, I, I cook it once in a while. And um, this recipe, it's you're actually eating it raw, which is a little bit different. Um, and so it's just going to add like a little bit of a crunch to, uh -huh. your, uh, to the salad. Very uh, cool. Like, yeah. Very cool. All right. I need a. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, the cabbage has to be cut smaller, but look at how beautiful that purple color is. There we go. I think this will work. Yeah. Boom. There it is. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. Amazing. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go up and see who said yes. Um, a lot of S's. A lot of S's. Guys, if you wrote S, you better have also written send me the guide because these dinner recipes are absolutely amazing. It's a dinner challenge. That's what the guide is. It's a dinner challenge. And we know that that's what people struggle with. So um, we provide you with quick, easy, amazing dinners. Okay. Um, Caroline wants to know what the millet looks like. Yeah, you're going to see the millet momentarily once we get to that part of the recipe. Yes. I'll show um, you. Right now we're on, we're on the cabbage. <laughs> we're on the cabbage. Yeah. 
you're making me like just watching this makes me want to buy some purple cabbage, which I'm I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I know. Do. Look how purple this is. It's crazy. Yeah. It's so beautiful. you have to be careful because you might, you know, if you if you touch things that are white, it's probably you're probably gonna dye something. Yeah. <laughs> look how beautiful this is. And this was like the smallest cabbage I could find. Um, so I'm just gonna pour it. I got a bowl right here. Yeah. I'm gonna pour it, and then I've got some carrots that I'm gonna shred as well. And then we'll be done shredding for today. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. We're good there. But I just love how you use your food process to do the shredding. I think it's just it's just a show you're showing us how efficient and simple it can be because cutting it with a knife would be so much harder. Yeah, it would just take longer. I mean, you can do things without a food yeah. processor, but I love this thing. It works so well. Mm -hmm. Got yep. stuff stuck in there. Okay, so last night I looked for my carrots and it looks like I ate them. <laughs> it looks like I ate them all. So I just have these little carrots and these are what we give our dogs. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll just shred these too. So we'll pop those in there. Boom, just like that. There, done. Easy. <laughs> okay, so we're good. Uh, we're mostly we're mostly shredded. Yep. Shred it enough. You could do. You'll, well, you'll, you'll do some shredding when you chew it. Yes, that's right. <laughs> well, I'm gonna move this over here, and then I'll bring my bowl over so you can see what I'm doing. So here's our beautiful cabbage here, and then we'll put in our carrot. Excellent, excellent. It just brings a really pretty color. And then the next thing that we do. Oh, I just love those colors, Robbie. So good. The, the purple. And the orange, it's just fantastic. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now I've got some red bell peppers that I'm going to cut up. So fantastic. And and so guys, just to be clear, you can use any color bell pepper. Like don't don't get too stressed. I want you guys to always know you can yeah. modify recipes, right? Yes. Oh, like, and, and that's always what I do. I'm always modifying recipes. Yeah. So I don't even have a yellow one. I have an orange and I have a red one. Yeah. So that's what we're going to use today. Um, I usually just like to. So you can kind of think about when you have a salad, what what do you want? What size of pieces do you want to eat? And so I usually like to cut them up just a little bit thin slices like this. You could cut them smaller if you wanted. Because, um, you know, you basically are eating a shredded salad. Yep. But it's kind of nice to have some little pieces in there. For sure. Now, Wendy, for somebody who is looking to lose weight, do you think this is a good recipe? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you, you think about really the majority of calories, it's all non-starchy vegetable that we're putting in here. And then exactly. the millet is the only thing that really has some yep. carbohydrate in it. Right. So it's a very low calorie recipe. And then I, my recommendation is that you actually add some beans to it. Yep. So that, um, so that you get a little bit more protein, Absolutely. A little bit more calories that way. Absolutely. So guys, if anybody here listening, if you'd like to lose weight, put W in the chat box, you want to lose weight, put W in the chat box. Uh, the, the guide, and the reason I bring that up, Wendy, is because this recipe, and you're right, adding beans still makes it a very good recipe for weight loss. Yeah. And so is our guide. So our guide that we are offering you guys, if you want a chance to get this free guide, it's, uh, it's a dinner challenge guide, right? It's full of nothing but recipes that will also help you reach your ideal body weight. And so if you want that guide, if you're new here, you just joined, write, send me the guide. Just write that comment, and then we will send you the guide, okay? Now- what the, I want people to understand, you just mentioned the core reason when you said because it's full of a bunch of non-starchy vegetables, right? So yeah. it's it's the principles of calorie density, which help you reach your ideal body weight while being satisfied. So when you follow the Mastering Diabetes Method, you eat more food by mass, by volume, in order to actually lose weight. You do not go starving, right? And also... Again, we got the millet here and, we're, and you're suggesting people add the beans, right? You're also not going to be starving, right? You are yeah. not going to be like, oh, this is just rabbit food and I'm just eating lettuce. That's why I'm losing weight. No, 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 no. You're eating amazing, satisfying, delicious meals, which is exactly what you're going to get in the guide. So just write, send me the guide. We'll have our team direct message you. We'll get you the guide, okay? 
Um, now, uh, you're cutting up the peppers. Now, Wendy, do you ever eat that inside part of the pepper with the seeds on it? No. Have you eaten this? Absolutely. Part? So if you brush off the seeds <laughs> and, and then you like, you, it's, it's got like a spongy flavor. It's really, really good. So Ooh, try I'm it one day. Try it. I'm going to have to yeah, try it. For sure. <laughs> okay. So I saw a lot of W's in the chat box. Everybody says, send me the guy. We'll take care of you. Um, Driti says, definitely won't be starving if we eat this way. That's fantastic. And also, I saw a couple comments earlier that best put it on the screen. Somebody saying how their A1C dropped. I love seeing those comments. If you're here today, you're doing the method, you're, you read our book, uh, you're getting results, like make the chat box the brag box. Tell us. like Tell us what's going on for you. Let's celebrate you. I want to hear it. It makes me very happy. So um, please do that. All right, Wendy, what's next? All right, I've got some red onions. I pre-chopped these so that I would not cry. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. Smooth move. So I just took one red onion and I just chopped it really well. So, so I'm just gonna dump those right in here and then I'll pick this up so you can kind of see. Um, here is everything. Ooh, Beautiful. I love strong onion. So I'm just gonna mix this around. Um, and then I've got a dressing that we're gonna make today. Ooh, exciting. Um, that I'm excited about because everybody likes to have a good dressing, right? Yes. Before I do that, though, mm -hmm. here's the millet. Um, I just get it from a bulk section. Um, yep. So you can see it's like these little, um, it's kind of tiny little balls, basically. Um, they have like a little bit of a crunch to them. I'm just going to measure out um, a half a cup here. Uh, oh, and that's pretty much all I had with left. Was that's a perfect. Cup. While you said I'm going to put, I'm going to read Mark's comment. My A1C went from eight down to 5.0 after switching to whole food plant-based thank you mastering diabetes great work mark keep it up keep joining us and set some new goals what's the next goal man i want to know what your next goal is put it in the chat box all right keep going because if you're not growing you're dying let's keep growing that is beautiful wendy okay so let's get to the the dressing let me move some things out of my way here and I'm gonna move my cam my uh, camera down so you can see what I'm doing. A, a friend on YouTube wrote, "I used to be pre-diabetic. My A1C is now 5.3. They said they went plant-based November of 2022. So if you want to reverse pre-diabetes, this is the path, right? The, so yeah, and, and again, like guys, eating these recipes is key. If you want the guide, you got to write, send me the guide, all right? If you already wrote it once, we'll get to you. But if you haven't written that yet and you want the dinner challenge recipe guide, you got to write, send me the guide. Okay. What's next, Wendy? Yes. So this is powdered peanut butter. Um, ah. you can get an organic powdered peanut butter. And this is four keeping tablespoons of this powder. And then I've got um, three tablespoons of a low sodium soy sauce that I'll pour right in here. And then I've got three tablespoons of white vinegar. I'm going to also pour in here. Now I just got to mix this up. So I'll just use my little spatula here and it'll mix up. You kind of want it. You can decide like if you really wanted this to be thinner than what I'm going to make it, you could add a little bit of water to it. Uh, but the flavor is so, so yummy. I actually might put a little bit of, I'm going to put a little bit of water in my my heaping teaspoons or tablespoons might have been just a little bit more. So, so you can kind of play around with the consistency a little bit of it. Um, but the flavor is so So this so is good. a two ingredient dressing, Wendy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. You're just powdered peanut butter. You've got some vinegars. <laughs> See, that, that's what this show's about. Simple meals, guys. And again, I cannot emphasize this enough. What Wendy is showing you on the screen, and Wendy's been a frequent guest on this show as, as well as many of our other guests, like Wendy is showing you simple recipes that she eats to yeah. maintain her healthy lifestyle and amazing health, amazing vitality, amazing blood glu glucose control, living with type 1 diabetes. Simple meals are where it's at, and that's why I want you to get your hands on this guide. So, right, send me the guide if you want more simple meals. These are particularly dinner meals, because that's what most people struggle with. So yes. just write yeah. that in the chat box. Yeah. Yeah. A dinner's, I mean, if you've got a plan for dinner, that's the best way to go, because usually you kind of get like a little bit of a decision fatigue by dinner. You're exactly you, right. you know, you get, you're too hungry or you're too tired. But if you've already had a plan, 
that makes all the difference. Yes. And, and, you know, in helping you to wake up the next day and feeling good about yourself. Right. Correct. Correct. All right. So then we just mix this all together and we're done. <laughs> just like that. And then, so then another thing I want to talk about here, uh, yeah. I know we're probably gonna run out of time eventually, but cause I feel like I could talk about this stuff all day. I love it. <laughs> Part of simple meals is understanding and embracing the value of packaged foods. So a, lo a lot of people, what, mo what many people would do next is open up a can of beans, rinse, drain, whatever, and just yeah. buy low sodium or no salt added, just a can of beans, throw it on top, and you now have a complete meal. You're ready to go. You got your calories. You have your carbohydrate energy plus non-starchy vegetables or greens at every meal. That's key. And that's one of many key uh, aspects of the Mastering Diabetes Method, which helps you lower your A1C, lose weight, stabilize your blood glucose control, feel amazing, and that's because the greens and non starchy vegetables are that powerful. Yes, it's so tasty. And so <laughs> you see my dog in the background. <laughs> I love it. I'm a house full of dogs. <laughs> it's fantastic. What I like to do is in the Instapot, I, you know, I will buy beans. That's the easiest way to do it. But if I have them in the Instapot, I can make them up. It only takes maybe 20 minutes at the most. Yep. And then I can add this, add some beans to this. And it's, it's super tasty. It's fantastic. Right okay. I want to try and answer as questions as, as many questions as I can. Um, somebody says peanut butter, even if you're trying to lose weight, why don't you explain what you actually put into that dressing, Wendy? Yeah. So this is a powdered peanut butter and powdered peanut butter has been defatted. So for that two tablespoons, it's only two and a half grams of fat compared to if you had two tablespoons of regular peanut butter, it's around, I think it's around 16 or 18 grams of fat um, for that. So that's the that's the biggest difference, and that's where all the calories come from. Correct. So, it's so now that we fat it. peanut butter. There's no fat in this peanut butter. Okay, it's a modern day invention, and I mm -hmm. and I am telling you, like there is no better time in history than 2023 to be eating a low fat plant based soco diet. There are so many cool new things, amazing products, convenience, and, and we teach you all that, you know, in our program and, and all that. But uh, but that's just one of the newer inventions. Yes. So here's some beans. So you could do a little serving of, of some beans. You could have a little bit of this so you could try it out. I wish you could try this, Robbie. <laughs> uh, I know. I wish we could have like some virtual like taste <laughs> testing thing. <laughs> it is so, so tasty. I mean, here I is love that. And, and um, how long will this last in the fridge? Hmm. Well, in my fridge, it probably lasts about three days because we eat it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. yeah. That's fantastic. Okay. Okay with a week. Yeah, about a week. Okay, that sounds about right. I think that sounds about right. Um, and again, that's another key thing here is you just made this. And you were talking and doing all this stuff. Like this was not a, does not take a long time. And it's a great thing that you could have in your fridge for about a week, right? So when you're smart, when you're making recipes that are designed properly, which, you know, we do, especially in our, in our meal guides and all that stuff in our coaching program, we give people a meal plan, all that. But when you do things strategically, you will always have amazing leftovers that are fast and easy to eat. So like that's, this is a great, like, it's kind of like a side that can be added to any given meal throughout the day. And I think that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And you get all these beautiful colors. So you're getting all these yeah. wonderful nutrients yes. in your diet. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Okay. So this has been super fun. Again, guys, if you're just joining or you didn't make your comment yet, but if you want our dinner challenge recipe guide, you have to write, send me the guide as a comment, and then we will get it to you. And I just, I actually just thought on YouTube, we'll be able to get to you directly. So YouTube, Facebook, just make the comment, send me the guide. We'll get it to you. Um, we'll, we'll just, we'll, we'll reply. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we'll send you a direct message. So you have it directly in your inbox and, and you'll, you'll just be all set up for success. So uh, Wendy, this has been super fun. 
Thank you so much for joining. Guys, we do this live show, Simple Meals, every Wednesday. It's the same time. It's at noon Central Time, 1 p.m. Eastern. So I would, if I was you, I'd put it on your calendar, okay? I want you to do this right now. Write C in the chat box. If you have this show on your calendar, or you're going to add it to your calendar right now, I want you to write C in the chat box. Like this should be a weekly event. Come join us live and ask questions. Like I tried to answer all the questions that came in. Uh, if there's, so, so Susie says, what for breakfast? Let's answer that question, uh, Wendy. What do you eat for breakfast? Oh my gosh. Uh, this morning I had some breakfast cookies that I make. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Breakfast cookies, cookies for breakfast. That's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So they're, they're buckwheat with, uh, uh, cacao powder and, um, bananas. They're so yummy. You want to see what amazing. they look like? <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. Now we're really hyping up the Mastering Diabetes Method, guys. Cookies for breakfast by Coach Wendy. I mean, we might have to – have we made that on this show yet? No, but we can. Okay. I think those you... are my breakfast cookies that wow. I eat. They're so I good. love it. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so you guys writing C in the chat box. What you're saying is it's either already on your calendar or you, you, you're going you – add, you've added it to your calendar. Like right now is the time. Recurring events. Every Wednesday, same time, same place. Don't miss a show. So I like the C's I'm seeing. L.L. Lewis says, my A1C was nine in 2017, and I got it down to six. I ate veggies, fruit, nuts, chicken, did coffee enemas. I was able to eat carbs again. My blood sugar. Okay, that's a lot of things we wouldn't necessarily recommend, but I'm happy that you're eating lots of veggies, lots of fruit, okay? That's good. And it's an illustration of how, Wendy, you don't have to do everything perfect to get yeah. results right so it's it's literally it's the it's the the addition that the, the like the peer-reviewed papers are literally showing people adding just a couple servings of fruits here and there adding servings of uh whole grains to their diet are seeing improvements like that happens all the time but yeah. what we do is we kind of go beyond that wendy in order to, to really get astounding results to really help people turn things around and we're really about helping people completely get out of the a disease state that is reversible. And a, a majority of these chronic conditions are reversible. So definitely pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes in most cases, high blood pressure, we can turn that around. High cholesterol, we can turn that around. High triglycerides, we can turn that around. And certainly some of the less objective things like, like low energy, we turn that around uh, big time. Big oh time. my gosh, yes. So, um, all right, so somebody asked the start time of the show. So put it on your calendar, guys. 1 p.m. Eastern every Wednesday, okay? Every Wednesday, put it on your calendar. Um, this has been fun. We love – because sometimes it's just me. Sometimes you have a coach here. So you're going to get your questions answered. That's why I want you guys to come back. I want you to be consistent. I want you to stay connected with us. I want you to get resources that we're going to be giving. We have, we have – so this guide, you're going to enjoy this guide, and we got more coming, right? So – um, we're going to have fun. Um, and again, again, if you haven't written, send me the guide yet, do it now. Right. And we'll get it to you. And, uh, I'm going to answer one last question. Every time I see a question, it's hard for me, like not to answer, just like end the show. So I'm going to answer one more, then we're really going to end it. Okay. Is it okay to eat dry buckwheat? That's from Rhonda. What do you think, Wendy? Um, I, well, you know, I usually do it like as an overnight, kind of like okay. how you can do overnight oats. Yeah. Because you, know, you probably want a little bit more moisture in it. But yes, you can eat it dry. So right. if you had like a big fruit bowl, you could sprinkle a little bit of buckwheat on top of it for a little crunch. Yep. You could do that. Perfect. Love it. Okay. Excellent. So Joelle is asking about replays. Uh, yes. These, if you, if you do miss a show, like if you can't join us live, that's okay because it's the, the video still lives on the Facebook page. Like you go to the Facebook page, you click videos and it'll still be there. So um, check that out. That'd be the best place to see the replays. But live is, is a lot more fun and we get to answer your questions. And I like to interact with you. I want to know who, who you are, where you're coming from. I, I love that stuff. So join us live. I'm going to end it before we end up getting a bunch more questions. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise we'll be here forever. Thank you so much, Wendy. Have a you're great welcome. day. You're welcome. You too. Bye everybody.